Now we all know how maddening it is to lose the remote, but how much more infuriating is it to lose your TV? Well, you've been telling us about a notorious firm of television repairers in the Midlands, which may hold some clues to the mystery of the missing tellies. Paul Heine investigates. Welcome to Birmingham and the black country, and what's fast becoming a black hole for television ratings. The story begins here, with these adverts for TV repairmen in the yellow pages. Now, trading standards have had hundreds of complaints. Watchdog has had complaints. So, perhaps, if we put all these clues together, we can solve this little mystery. When John O'Driscoll's TV broke down, he turned to the yellow pages and called First Call TV Repair Specialists in Birmingham. They promised free call-outs, free estimates and discounts for OAPs. Well, the ad looked very professional to me. And with the discount for pension, I thought it was a, a very good bargain. They collected John's TV the same day and quoted £125 to fix it. I thought that was too much. So he said, well, uh, seeing that you're a pensioner, we'll give it for uh, £85. And I said, still too much. And he hummed in a horn for a few minutes and then he said, £50. John was told his TV would be returned that evening. But John's TV wasn't returned on the Monday, it wasn't returned on the Tuesday. In fact, it wasn't returned at all. It disappeared completely. Over two months later, John still hasn't got his TV back. Makes you angry. They can come into your home and take your television and that's the end of it. Fazana Tharib called a different company from John. She paid Wolverhampton TV over £200. But when her telly came back from the repair shop, it still wasn't working. The picture was there, but it was all black and white, and it was distorted. Despite their advert offering a three-year guarantee, the company wanted another £180 to fix it. She refused. I feel very angry and upset. They shouldn't be allowed to trade and go around cheating people. Georgina Benjamin phoned a third company. There are a lot of them about. Birmingham TV Repair charged her £220, but the result was the same. I paid him to fix the television for me, and it was not no good. From this day they brought it, up to now, it's still not working and could never work again. The company promised to send someone to fix her telly, but they never arrived. Well, the television was my lifeline. Without my television, I think I'm lost. Different companies, different addresses, but one thing in common. For a start, the addresses are bogus. Some are homes, some belong to other businesses who aren't connected to any of these companies. Others have closed, assuming they were ever open. If so many of these company names and addresses are fakes, how are we going to find out where the TVs end up? Well, we called one of these numbers at random and said, our Panasonic's broken down. That was fake too. We'd actually rigged it with a faulty part. With cameras in place, our trap was set. Hi. You're okay. You manage, okay? So, that is our TV. All we have to do now is follow that tally. It's supposed to be on its way to Harborn TV, but I'm beginning to fear the worst. Our road, and in fact all roads, lead here to this scrapyard of Sonny's, this Grundy graveyard. I wonder how many TVs get out of here alive. Birmingham Trading Standards are one step ahead of us. They say this place and all the other firms are run by one Gadev Sharma. In December, he pleaded guilty to placing ads with false names and addresses in the yellow pages, to charging for repairs that weren't carried out and for parts that didn't exist. He was fined nearly £6,000. So, when Sharma's company called us back, we assumed they'd play it straight. No chance. He said it can be repaired. You've got problems with what's known as a control board. We have tried to put a new board in that has done the job. We're just out of wear and tear, there's a part on there, it's called a microprocessing chip, and that's died. They claim to have replaced the control board and a microprocessing chip. In fact, we'd put in a faulty part. Like this. It's worth just 20p. 
I wonder how much they'll charge us. For complete, that's 145 pounds, parts fitted and supplied. 145 pounds for fitting and supplying a 20 pence part. They, they claim that they've changed the control board and a microprocessor is nonsense. And there's quite a lot of dust and dirt all around this section, which indicates it's the original board. Paula and John Kelly were furious when they discovered that the firm to whom they'd paid nearly £400 was run by such a notorious character. They make promises they don't keep. I mean, he's always saying, you tell you'll be back by 7 o'clock this evening, and it never turns up. John and Paula want their TV back. Customer services, anybody? This wasn't going to be easy. Could you pick out your TV from this lot? Once inside, the shutters went down on Paula and John. So what were you showing me in the back? This TV, huh? You can't, you can't, you can't go at the back. They don't want them poking around, and no wonder. There was no sign of Mr Sharma or their telly, but plenty of other angry customers. So how many have been this morning? Two more. So it's not just us? No, two more have been this morning. Only 11 a.m., and they were already the third people to have complained. See, see people, all people's done this morning is coming with attitude. That's all they've done. Well, how do you well, no, not you. It's you. you. It's the second geese we gave the attitude now. We don't know. We're just out. We come in here twice a month, maybe once a month, to move a few tellies. We don't know him. Time to go. Gadev Sharma must run his TV companies by remote control. He's bankrupt, he's got county court judgments against him, and it's not just Birmingham. There have been complaints in Manchester, Oxford, Coventry, Nottingham and Gloucester. At last, a glimpse of the TV tycoon himself. Can we have a word with you, Mr Sharma? Can we have a word with you, please, Mr Sharma? Well, there he goes, Mr Sharma, the, uh, the great television repairman. I wonder if he's watching this. He has got several televisions. One of them might even be his own. <laughs> Paul Heine there. Uh, good day, Sharma is due back in court very soon. Birmingham Trading Standards say he's breached an Enterprise Act enforcement order. He denies it, but as we heard earlier, could be jailed if convicted.